Hey, wrestling fans, it's John Pollock alongside Jimmy Corderas, and we just checked out TNA's final Resolution pay-per-view. And Resolution, what a perfect way to describe the main event between Bobby Roode and AJ Styles ending in a 3-3 draw. Yeah, I, I kind of half predicted this going into the pay-per-view. I figured there was going to be some kind of draw, but I figured they would do another five minutes or something, which they didn't do. So you're going to have to tune in to Impact to find out what happens. Finish aside, I did think they worked a, a very, very good match together. Uh, I thought even, even better than their November match, where I just felt the two, they didn't click to, their, to the best of their ability, whereas uh, on Sunday night, I thought they worked really well together. Yeah, the, the only thing, again, I didn't like was the finish. I would have preferred if maybe Bobby Roode was up one, Fall and uh, AJ was chasing him and desperately trying to uh, tie it up before Bobby Roode stalled into the uh, time elapsing. So once again, an example of the pay-per-view setting up the blow-off on television. Exactly. Business 101. Jeff Hardy and Jeff Jarrett, speaking of business, uh, defeating Jeff Jarrett in a steel cage match, which, did you know, Jimmy, is the second Loser Leaves TNA match that Jarrett has lost this year alone. You know what? I completely forgot about that until you reminded me. He's supposed I mean, to be in Mexico. Yeah, isn't he? I guess not. Yeah. We're going to have to tune into TV because Sting is going to fire either Jeff or Karen Jarrett on television. Uh, but at least the crowd, they were into Jeff Hardy, and that was the only thing they seemed to be into in this show. Yeah, I know. We've discussed this before. I think TNA needs to get out of Orlando as soon as possible, at least for the pay-per-views anyway. And the match that suffered the most from this crowd was James Storm and Kurt Angle. James Storm went over. I thought these two worked tremendous, maybe even match of the night. But the crowd just sat on their hands for 18 minutes. And it was really unfortunate because I think a better audience, you would have significantly put more of a spotlight on James Storm. Absolutely. And you know what happens? Perception is reality. So if somebody was tuning into this pay-per-view for the first time, they don't get that energy from the crowd at all. So, you know, they may not come back and watch the product again. Austin Aries kept the X Division title, defeating Kid Cash. Uh, two heels working here, which is also a, a difficulty, but uh, with this crowd, whatever. They didn't care. No, not at all. And let's quickly chat as well about the tag match where the Pope and Devon, the split may finally be happening. They lose to Matt Morgan and Crimson. Not much of a match, but mm -hmm. the titles stay with Morgan and Crimson. I'm giving this one a thumbs in the middle. They are returning on January 8th with Genesis.